Tonight, Sandusky's lawyers are saying they tried to quit at the start of jury selection because there wasn't enough time to prepare. But experts say Sandusky's legal team did the best they could. That was the only verdict consistent with the evidence. There was so much proof from so many accusers over such a long period of time that it was an almost impossible case to defend. And criminal defense lawyer Mark Furnish says this won't be the last we're going to hear of this Penn State scandal. There's a pending charges against the two administrators who were fired for um, not reporting in time and for committing perjury. There will be probably civil suits against the university and maybe even against the state because Penn State is a state-funded institution. Not to mention Sandusky's expected appeal and sentencing in three months. McGee Hickey picks 11